Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is Red Dead Online. Well, to be honest, I wasn't sure I was going to make another Red Dead Online video. Uh, I had so much trouble uh, the first few weeks that I started playing it that I wasn't even sure I was going to continue playing it. For some reason, though, it uh, caught me, and I haven't been able to stop playing it since I started. I at least log in just about every day to do at least one daily challenge to keep the streak going, right? Because you get more gold for completing challenges if you do them um, uh, consecutively. But anyways, uh, they've come out with a new role. Uh, this video isn't going to replace the Moonshiner uh, storyline that we're in the middle of, so that will be continuing on going. But since this is a brand new update and one of the biggest uh, that's recently come out for the game... Oh yeah, Outlaw Pass number three. We'll get there. We'll get there, game. Calm down. I didn't press anything. It did that automatically. Uh, yeah, the Naturalist here. So let's read about it together. This is the first time I'm looking at it. It came out today. I just finished downloading it. Surprisingly enough, I was able to download it same day that it came out, even though it was like a 5 gigabyte update. They said there was over something like 250 different bug fixes and things, so uh, rebalancing and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully it will actually make some big improvements to the game. Because like I said at the very beginning, it was hard for me to play after a while, just because there were times when I would uh, load into the game and my Moonshiner Shack just didn't exist, my camp wouldn't exist, I played with a friend a couple of times, and there were times when we couldn't see each other, but then we could join up into missions together, load back into the world, and we would be in the same lobby, but we wouldn't be able to see each other. So really weird, nonsensical things like that happening uh, all the time. Like every time I logged in, I would get kicked out of the server a couple of times usually uh, before I would finish what I was doing, so it, it was a really frustrating experience. Um, hopefully this big update has solved a lot of those problems and hopefully we'll be able to see more videos on this because I love the whole concept of Red Dead. Um, the Wild West setting, of course, is fantastic. Being cowboys and uh, running around on horses and stuff like that. Uh, the lasso was my favorite weapon, getting to rope people and tie them up and all that kind of stuff. Not in any kinky way, at least not in this game. But um, yeah. The new frontier pursuit is the naturalist. Track, hunt, and study the wonders of the animal kingdom in Red Dead Online's latest frontier pursuit, the naturalist. Explore diverse locales, encounter majestic new legendary animals, and forge your own path as you choose whether to use these findings to learn new skills or bolster your resources and material gains. So there seems to be a sort of a choice uh, with this one, which is very interesting. Visit the Welcome Center in the town of Strawberry. Nice, it's a very cool place. Meet up with both Harriet Davenport and Gus McMillan, and document your findings with the new Animal Field Guide. Assisting Harriet in her naturalist efforts by obtaining samples without killing will earn unique rewards while tracking these creatures. Delivering animal parts, skins, and hides to Gus will get you high-quality garments and trinkets with special benefits. Tempting, uh, tempting, but I will most likely go with the uh, obtaining samples without killing, uh, just for... Just for my own sake. That's the sort of person that I am, so that's how I would go about it. Uh, the high-quality garments, uh, unique garments sort of a thing, is definitely appealing. And we'll see if I can do both. If I can do both and, like, sort of alternate between them, then I will. But I'll focus on the um, uh, assisting Harriet the most. So Outlaw Pass number three. I meant to do a video on the Outlaw Pass number two uh, that I bought. Because there was a lot of information that I wanted to put out there that I didn't know about and couldn't find myself uh, when I was looking into it, right? So with the Outlaw Pass, uh, returns with a host of special new items to unlock. As always, the Wheeler, Ross, and Co. Club is a free and automatic membership. As you progress through the club ranks, you will unlock perks along the way. Okay, so there's uh, usually two different sections, right? of the unlocks that you can get. One is just a standard, as you level up, you get uh, one item per level, and then if you buy the 40 gold bars here, um, or no, let's see, 80 ranks. It doesn't say how much it costs, but it usually costs the 40 gold bars to get into it. 
Uh, alongside a bountiful assortment of offers and rewards, including access to unique outfits, weapon modifications, uh, camp upgrades, the Australian Shepherd, Camp Dog, and much more. I already have the Husky that I got with the Outlaw Pass 2, and uh, I'm satisfied with that, so I won't be switching animals or anything. Uh, there's 80 ranks to unlock with the new Outlaw Pass. It's available through October 19th. So, uh, when you're going through the game, as you, it's not... Uh, your actual levels, your character levels, as you progress, you'll gain a separate sort of XP for this and uh, progress through a separate sort of level system from the character levels, right? So as you go, you will automatically unlock with the free uh, version here a set of items uh, that are unique for um, this Outlaw Pass. So if somebody logs in after October 19th and starts a new character, then they won't have access to a lot of the same items that you've unlocked with this, right? So if you pay the 40 gold bars, what I assume is the cost, it might be more or less, then um, you get uh, extra unlocks. It, I think it's two per level, so it would be a total of three items, or either two or three items instead of one for every level that you go up. And so, um, yeah, it's a huge, huge boon. And one thing about it that I didn't know about and couldn't find out on my own before was that I made it up to level 99 in the club without buying uh, the gold bar upgrade for it. And so I didn't know if I wanted to invest, because it took me that long to make 40 gold bars. It takes forever to build up that uh, currency, at least for me, because I rarely play. I said I play every day, but I'm probably only on for about an hour or two at most. So, um, yeah, it's, I, I don't play a whole lot, so it's hard for me to get gold. Uh, treasure hunting and that sort of a thing is probably the best way. But anyway, um, you get extra stuff. And I made it up to level 99 without paying. And so I had to find out for myself whether or not paying the gold at level 99 would unlock all of the previous items. And guess what? It did. So that 40 gold bars, I invested it straight into the Outlaw Pass, and I got to claim the rewards to get all the 40 gold bars back, so I was immediately reimbursed for the cost in the first place. Um, I thought that that was beyond fantastic, and all of the cool stuff that I unlocked as well, I bought most of the stuff, um, or at least tried to, what I could afford, you know. And uh, yeah, it's been fantastic to have access to all of it. Uh, so yeah, if you ever wonder about, do I want to get the Outlaw Pass, can I afford it? Yes, you can. Uh, once you have this amount, just drop it in. Will it unlock all the stuff that I've already passed? Yes, it will. Uh, so as soon as you buy it, you'll get access to all the extra stuff that you missed from before. And all of the stuff that you will get along the way up to level 80, right? So pretty awesome. Pretty amazing stuff. I would definitely recommend it to anybody who's interested in it, because it's, it's great. Um... And it, it just costs gold, right? It's not real money. You don't have to pay to get gold. I think you can, but you don't have to. Uh, so yeah, I don't have Twitch Prime, but there are the benefits there available. Legendary Animal Pheromones, Wilderness Camp for free, 6,000 XP for three levels, um, access to the Kat Katata Elk Coat. I thought it said Katana for some reason, and I was really excited. Uh, from Gus's store. And, uh, yeah, get some money, monthly benefits and stuff. It's really good to have uh, Twitch Prime, but like I say, I don't, so I won't be getting any of these. So, with all that said, man, let's jump in. Uh, I have... Oh, we could go straight into the Naturalist from here? I don't see why not. I was gonna start up my posse, because reasons, but let's go. Okay, we're in here. Um, we'll go straight to the benefits, because I'm going to buy the Outlaw Pass right away. Naturalist is now available, so it tells me all of the good stuff that's going on right now. Uh, study the Wonders, we read most about this, and it's up here so you can read it if you like. Um, yeah. So this is the Naturalist getting started. We're here in Strawberry, or we should be, I imagine. Um, track down specimens, further extensive knowledge. I love this idea. It's fantastic. Uh, equitably rewarded. That's wonderful. And then the Hunter's Path. Uh, at odds with Harriet. Retired big game hunter. Delivering parts, skins, hides, gets garments and trinkets. Be warned though, she'll take notice if you try to play both sides. Okay. Okay. Noted then. 
uh, we'll see how it goes. And then this just says the same thing. Sometimes these are different. Uh, there's usually some kind of a featured uh, series, and then there will be sales over here too. So here we go with the club rewards. Uh, let's see if we can yeah buy the outlaw pass for 40 uh, gold. That was the wrong thing for me to do. But this uh, gives more information about it anyway. So feel free to read that if you like. And then I hold enter to buy the outlaw pass. Yeah, that's all the same information pretty much. 15% roll XP boost during the club membership period. That's pretty nice. Um, unique weapon medals, engravings, filters for the advanced camera, which is going to be a new item. Awesome. Congratulations. As an Outlaw Pass 3 holder, you'll unlock additional rewards as you play. Keep in mind that the Outlaw Pass 3 and Wheeler, Ross, and Company clubs are active until October 19th. So that's how long you have to uh, level up all the way. Uh, it's really easy to do. Don't uh, look at it as crazy. Even playing like an hour or two a day like I do, I was able to do it in no time, like a month. Um, so yeah, visit the benefits section of the pause menu for details on reward and availability and all the items. So these are them, right? You get the XP boost, uh, the dead ham outfit, and then you can see here, uh, legendary animal pheromones coming in. Five gold bars immediately at rank three. So I get a refund, basically, for that. Let's see, free emotes, nice. And then it keeps on going. Red filters, uh, hunter background. And you can see some of these even, these are the free ones that you don't pay for. Uh, some of these skip levels, are ranks, sorry. Gun care parcel, right, small package of gun oil, big deal. Uh, but with this you get the Vitalism Studies pamphlet, okay. I don't know what that means, but uh, it exists. Mash refill for the moonshine. Um, more gold bars. So that'll be up to a total of 40. Which will pay me back exactly the cost of the pass. So well worth it, definitely, in my mind. And, um, man, there was a... Um, you can see my monies up at the top right there. There was a uh, Red Dead Online community on Twitter that tweeted out a thing. Oh, how much money do you have for the... Uh, new update that's coming out and there were people posting with like thousands of gold bars oh by the way your handling of that last job was something else oh thanks yeah I, it's been a long time since i've been here um and they were posting like hundreds of thousands of dollars and it's it's insane what some people are capable of uh acquiring in this game people that are able to play games like this like non-stop all day long really impress me in a way, because I I have to have a bit of variety in my life, personally. Need a little strategy, you know. McMillan, get down here! This has got to Madam, stop. please! No! Uh, I'll be right with you. I know you're up there. <laughs> oh, marvelous! Oh, no. There she is. Oh, of course Just he has to I do that. <laughs> crazy wood nymph. Can a man take a bath in peace? What the hell is that? It's a panther. <laughs> you. Savage. And a nice clean one now, too. This is going above the mayor's bed. Okay, uh, Mrs. Hobbs will be by to handle the taxidermy. Oh, travel safe, my friend. Wait, who are you? Where's Cecil? Glenn. I'm a friend of his. Cecil had to take a few days off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For stress. Oh, no. <laughs> is there any animal that you have not slaughtered? Oh, you flatter me, Miss Sorry, Gabbard. I really will be right the with you. The answer's no, but I'm retired, as you know, and have been for some time. Yes, and how many have you out there killing for you now? Not nearly enough, I'm afraid. <laughs> Business is booming. What he sounds you like there? the marshal to me. Gus McMillan, Could be wrong. Master craftsman of fine clothing and accessories. Here's my card. Just a bit more animated. Top dollar for animal furs and parts. The rarer, the Don't better. Don't listen to him. Unbelievable. How do you sleep at night? On the tiger bed. There you go. <laughs> my dear. Seriously, come Ridiculous. see. You're no better than a murderer. And one day, you'll be seen as such. Whoa, wow, whoa. Would you mind taking us outside? I don't want Shut cover. up, Glenn. Listen, soon as a squirrel finds a cure for tuberculosis, let's talk. If intelligence is the barometer oh, of who has geez. the right to live or die, you should have been court-martialed at birth. Oh, no. Annoying, isn't she? <laughs> See him? The only thing he had on his mind was hunger, sweetheart, but I pulled the trigger. Survival of the fittest, didn't that your mm. mentor's trite catchphrase? It's not survival of the fittest. You are killing to line this your own pockets. This is how I make my living. 
We don't all have a rich daddy. While you're camped out in the woods, making witches brews and talking to the wildlife, the rest of us are doing some real work. You think work. this is some big joke? Oh, oh, that, that's enough! You <laughs> all is <laughs> crazy <laughs> truth. Uh, uh, they uh, should I wonder if that's fair, you in an asylum. <laughs> <laughs> that's it! I quit! You can tell the mayor I've gone home. <sighs> oh, <laughs> sorry about that awful man. Harriet Davenport. I've been in the field now for three years, studying the hidden interconnections between animals of all species. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've seen everything. I've <laughs> had joy, disgust, regrets, envy. Hmm. We're so much more alike than we are different. I'm on the brink of discovering the pathways that link all life. I, I just need more research material. I have in here detailed notes on pretty much every animal from armadillo to anisbird, awesome. including the locations of some truly impressive varieties. I would be willing to sell this to you if you will commit to bringing me anatomical samples from live species and <sighs> promise not to carry out any more animal side in pursuit of Gus McMillan's greed. I'll pay you. I'll pay you, of course. I promise I'm good for the money. Huh. Let's learn from nature, not destroy... Excellent. Excellent. Oh, we've been brought together for a reason. I strongly feel oh, sure. that. I've been experimenting with tonics that can provide access to remarkable new pathways of communication with other species. What? You have to live as they do, eat as they eat, hop as the toad, dig as the mole, love as the badger. <laughs> <laughs> if you see what I've seen, what's that? You just have to open your DMT? mind. DMT, ayahuasca, something like that. Join me on a voyage of discovery. Probably. Mushrooms, maybe. Maybe not. Ooh, clip through the world, even. That's amazing. Weekly collectible shopping list. Naturalist rank one. And I got some other stuff on the right side that I didn't notice popping up. Old uh, to view details. Okay. I. These are just to unlock uh, these things, I guess. I've never seen any other use for them. Sedative varmint cartridge pamphlet. Oh, nice. So I can sedate them instead of murdering them. Amazing. Kit satchel upgrade. Awesome. That must stack with the one that I already have. Uh, naturalist events. Good. Distinguish legendary animal trails. Okay. So if, in case you didn't know, uh, legendary animals didn't exist in the game until now. Uh, not in online anyway. Of course they did in story mode. It was one of the big draws. Uh, but not in online mode. Uh, mercy kill fatally wounded animals. I thought I could already do that. Disrupt the capture and trade of wild animals. Okay. Um, narrow search area. That sounds pretty cool. And of course all the special goodies down here. Every role has their own unique uh, horse breed. And um, varieties as you progress. Pheromones. There we go. Pamphlet. Good. Not much on on this route here. Animal attraction. Okay. Uh, master tracker. Longer periods. So that's good. Store more items in tonic. Uh, write down your observations. That sounds awesome. If it's like the um, if it's like the journal from story mode, then I'm very interested in that. And then under underhill charms. Okay. Not quite as amazing as my flask. I probably won't uh, go for that, but yeah. Yeah, you can see uh, max level on these. Not quite on Bounty Hunter. You get honor from Bounty Hunter, and I've been a dishonorable um, online character. Collector, rank 22. So um, Naturalist is the only one that I have to work on now. Well, besides Bounty Hunter, but we'll get to that another time. Uh, I plan on doing videos of the legendary bounties because they all have stories. So we will be able to watch those and check them out together. I actually have done one with a friend and it succeeded. And then I did one solo and was also successful at that one. Wahoo. Alright, so. Uh, what is it then that we need to do? 
for her, I would like to know. Okay, I killed a squirrel. We get a field guide uh, update that never was a thing before. Uh, American red squirrel. Amazing. So, oh, I didn't track him. That's true. Photographed. Okay. So maybe we need to take pictures of animals then and uh, try to do it that way. One of three collectibles looted? Not sure. Not sure about that. That's got to be a, um, a bug. Oh, I see. Okay, so this is going to be the uh, Heartland. This is going to be New Austin. Uh, Lemoyne. Part of the Heartlands, too. Uh, Roanoke Ridge and West Elizabeth here. Probably more so West Elizabeth in this one. Common critters will be uh, the squirrel and things. Legendary animals dark. For their dark coats and skins. And then albino. What is the opposite of an albino? Because I know black panthers are... Uh, are the opposite of an albino. All uh, leopards have spots or whatever, but the black panther has the higher melanin uh, in their skin or something like that that makes their hair darker. Uh, red and blonde, okay. Renowned. Oh, it's it shows chickens here too, but I think it's the fox that they're talking about. And then patterned. Very interesting. I like all of this stuff, actually. Trade-in... Completed category for money as well. Aha. Blending tonic, rifle, cartridge. Okay, we can get sedatives uh, for varmint rifles already from her. That'll be interesting. Uh, wilderness camp we can't do. Legendary animal pheromones. Okay. And revives a sedated animal. I can't just sedate them and then leave. They have to be revived. You'll struggle to find that just anywhere. Okay, the varmint cartridge pamphlet. We get this for free though for leveling up, right? Or does it just unlock? Maybe. I would probably be better off um, waiting for a sale. Uh, j just for the sake of doing it, though, we're doing it. Good instructions in there. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Start poached animals. Okay. We're in a war here. Gus McMillan and his Philistine horde are one spear point in an army of invaders that want to rip this land up by its roots and plaster the ruins with cheap houses and totems of their barbary. That can't happen. A regiment of McMillan's horde has settled in the area and are What's claiming wrong with the local wildlife as their prize. I need you to strike back. Hmm. I need you to remind Gus and his dead-eyed brutes what it feels like to be on the receiving end. Just... Be careful what gets caught in the crossfire. This war is already too costly. Okay. Okay. There's no way that I can uh, take them out silently. Alright. Not... Oh no. Don't be stuck. Oh, come on. My knife then. Take him down. Oh no. This is a tough man. Dead now. Pretty sure I have a lock breaker, don't I? Probably don't want to use that here though. Okay. This might be crazy. Oh, it's a wolf. You get out of here. Animal was freed. Look, you get out of here, I said. I just saved your life. Nice. He did just leave. Good. Oh, and we can craft now, too. Amazing. Okay, so what do we need? Here Here they are. Yes. Yes, I have six prairie poppies. We'll craft up six of them, then. Because I could have just sedated the man and left. Oh, no. Somebody clearly must be doing a... Uh, 
a goods delivery. But I'm not allowed to shoot them in. That's okay. Alright, I came here to Blackwater, though, uh, because I was on the Reddit, and there's already people complaining about um, how difficult it is to make... Oops, excuse me. How difficult it is to make the stuff for the sedatives that you need, right? Uh, for the naturalist thing. But there's furry poppy all over New Austin, uh, mostly between Blackwater and uh, Quaker's Cove. So that's where we're going to go. And along the way, I would like to sedate some critters and get their goodies. There. Okay, so here we are. I've barely left uh, Blackwater. This is oregano, obviously. But I can see prairie poppy from where I'm looking right now. And uh, yeah, barely left Blackwater. Here's the two houses on the south edge. If you have the correct uh, collector's level, then you can do this. It's right up to them. And pick. There we go, prairie poppy. So that's another bullet. Here's another bullet. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's a little little finicky getting the horse to do it, but she can do it. Uh, but here we are, yeah. Just south of Blackwater. Here's the two houses right in between them. Along this coast here, apparently, there's a pretty good, pretty good chance of finding them. Oh, this is a three-star right here. I was sure it was a two. It's kind of frozen in time. Is he going to keel over? Yeah, he's still up. Hey, buddy. You're supposed to be toast. Now he's a one star though, because I've shot him twice. Yeah, I'm still in view of those two houses, by the way. And that's five prairie poppy that I found. So anybody complaining on Reddit about how difficult it is to make the sedative ammunition just needs to come down to uh, this area, New Austin or whatever. Right around Blackwater. Okay. These squirrels I thought were uh, too little or something. Whoa, no, don't. Oh man, okay. Killing animals will cause Harriet to become increasingly upset. Oh, he did die. Okay. I need to get an ability card that allows me to choose my targets. And here's more Prairie Poppy, by the way. Still, still haven't lost sight of those houses yet. Okay, according to some, it takes time for it to work, and it wears off quickly. Someone said they shot a deer 20 times. Okay, so that second shot came up with a red uh, hit marker. But it's clearly not dead. Yeah, okay, it's sedated. So it took two shots. We're going to take a sample. There we go. Okay, North American raccoon sample. And so within 10 minutes, I need to get another one in order to complete my daily. Let's see if we can find that fox again. I'm saying that using it on a rabbit would kill it, but we clearly saw that it didn't after I used two of them. Okay, he's been shot twice. I didn't get the warning about killing animals. Yeah, stop tracking the raccoon and focus on the rabbit. Is that him there? No? Oh, yes, it is. Okay. Take a sample. Good. Okay, so we got one from a raccoon and a rabbit. It takes two shots, so it's multiple shots. So I can see how harvesting uh, prairie poppy would get tiresome, because you have to have a lot of it uh, to really hunt down the animals like that. But yeah, collect two of 13 samples for forest and river habitats. Okay. I don't really want to use... Yeah, I only have five shots left, so there's no way I could take down a deer. Um, I'm going to have to collect up some more prairie poppy and uh, craft some more ammo. But there's the general idea of the naturalist class, the new role. Uh, be sure to check it out. Have fun with it. Be sure to add me to your friends list and uh, let's join up into a posse sometime. Go around and hunt some animals. Uh,
collect their samples. Or if you're hunting them for skins and stuff uh, for Gus, then let me know about that and I'll be happy to help you with that too. So long as it doesn't uh, totally ruin my my part of the game here. We'll see though. And yeah. That's going to do it for this episode. If you want to catch another one, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time that you spend on my channel. And I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell. <laughs>